What is going on everyone? It's your guy Cole Jackson back here on Road Graders brought to you again today on the Russell Street Report courtesy of DNL Tinting. Go check out dltinting.com for all the services they can provide you located in multiple locations across Maryland in the Baltimore area. Check them out. Might be off something that they can contribute to you. Tell them Road Graders and Russell Street Report sent you. We're going to be jumping in today to a what I would consider a very exciting topic. I love doing this every year. The Ravens always have a defensive player that shocks, surprises, and plays really well in the preseason, earning that roster spot. And this year we're looking at a Maryland Terrapin It's Bo Braid, safety number six, a guy that a lot of Ravens fans are familiar with that follow the Terps, and he had himself one heck of a game against the Atlanta Falcons. If you guys are looking forward to this, if you're looking forward to seeing what Bo Braid could do for the Ravens, hit that like button, hit subscribe if you're new here, and drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of Bo Braid's grade. Just to take a quick second to look at um, some of his statistics through two preseason games, Um, one of the key things here, he's played 67 snaps, and the usage is what intrigues me so much. So in those snaps, he's played two at the defensive line, 23 in the box, 31 as a free safety, nine in the slot, and two at corner. So he's moved everywhere. Uh, and we know what the Ravens think about that type of versatility, especially from their defensive backs, especially guys that will play with this type of uh, you know, ferocity that can play some special teams as well. Um, I think that's what gets me so excited. When we look at some of the statistics, he has nine tackles on the preseason. Um, he's been targeted five times and given up one catch for two yards. Um, and he had one yard of yak, so he had pretty tight coverage on that one. Three run stops um, of those nine tackles. Uh, only one missed tackle uh, through those nine attempt- attempted tackles. So 10 attempted tackles with one missed. Um, so good, good stuff. Really good from the advanced statistics. And I think when you dive into the film especially when we look at that falcons game we're going to see a lot of the good stuff that i know you guys want to see so we're going to start out with some coverage snaps here because i know that's the most important thing that you guys are going to be looking for um from bow braid number six he's going to start a top here see a nice little rep of man coverage um seeing him come across on the play action and this was a really important play for me to see because anyone that watched this game if you think of how heineke kind of beat them it was these play action passes where they'd get the defense flowing over to the run and then they just leak guys out they had that gain for like 25 early in the game where buddy was just kind of wide open so the ravens come out in man coverage you can kind of see the two corners here following their man close Bo braid obviously had um had the flat route here and you just see him and you can kind of see it right from Heineke as he turns it out of the play action. He's looking right there. That's probably his first read. Second read is going to be the deep end zone shot. And there's Bo Bray, just good quickness to come across the formation, get after his guy, force that deep shot um, that goes incomplete. So just watching him kind of start up cross from his man, navigate his way through the box um, for good, good, good man coverage in the red zone. One of those important plays that I want to see because I don't want to see if you're man coverage, I don't want to see your guy leaking. Um, keep moving on here. Bo Braid is in the box in this one. And what I like to see here, so he's going to be lined up. And this is what I mean by the versatility. We just saw him starting as a split safety. You're going coverage. You're going to get this crosser here coming from the opposite side of the field with a rollout. So he's trying to roll out, force the defense to flow, and then hit back here. And so Bo Braid's going to roll. But as he does, what he does so well here is read the eyes. So you're going to watch rollouts coming and then you see right there you can see the white of the face mask of the quarterback coming back in here bow braid plants and then he's going to come right back inside right there flip those hips come back inside and uh you know quarterback basically has to throw into a tight window there because he's playing back to it gets spooked by the by the by the defender coming at him so just a good forced incompletion there i don't that won't show up in your score sheet um except for a targeted i guess a target with no catch but that's a forced incompletion um to me so let's keep rolling here we're skipping a little bit sorry about that guys we're gonna bow braids right here i think this is gonna be the one that i want to show you guys where he does get beat yeah so always want to take a look at the losses um, so they're going to play, you see four DBs lined up across. You can see the sticks right there. They're playing the sticks. He's going to sit here at this route across from his man, and it's skipping really bad. Sorry about that. Um, 
Let's try and see if we can get a little fluidity out of the video. He's just going to attack kind of that deep fade route. So he's just coming up, running to the sticks, and then fading to the pylon. And as he does, bad pass, doesn't catch it. But just something to note there. I'm pretty sure we're playing sticks coverage here. And, uh, you know, the pass rush gets in there late. And he just kind of gets beat uh, deep on that one. So definitely a play to look at just to kind of see him sitting at the sticks and uh, getting beat with some deep speed. Just something to look at, something to keep in mind. This was that almost pick, but his break on the ball. So we're going to have, he's up here in the free safety alignment right here. And you're just going to get a quick out. That's all they're doing there. Quick out and his break on the ball. Obviously a bad throw, uh, miscommunication here. But his ability to break on the ball, you see the quickness. And again, he's reading the quarterback's eyes. He's reading his man. He looks back inside. He breaks on the ball and just can't get his hands underneath it. Um, so unfortunately not an interception, but a heck of a break on the ball. Love to see that type of quickness. Love to see him lay out for it. Um, very physical player, fearless player. So like to see that stuff regularly. Back in the free safety alignment. And he's going to come up and make a nice stick. And this is something that, as we get into his run defense snaps, is going to stand out. Just the fearlessness tackling. They're just going to run that little pick route. He's going to clear off the the uh, the corner, and then you're getting a tight out tight end out here against a DB. And you can see here, if that ball comes out a little quicker, it's him against Braid, and then a whole lot of green um, approaching the red zone. And he just comes in and flies at that foot to make that tackle. So really good stuff there. Now we get into his run D snaps, and this is really where he shined to me. Coverage was good. No issues really with his coverage. Um, but where he really shined to me was his physicality in the run game and his tackling ability was absolutely outstanding in this game. So we're going to get him here on the backside. Oh, I threw in a pass rush snap. You're going to get... Uh, boom. Nice little QB hit. Always good to see. The Ravens love to blitz their DBs. We saw Arthur Millette do it so well. What I think he does really well here is read it rather than kind of continuing down the line. You know, he's re he's read that there's no handoff, there's no ball in that bread oven, and he's just going to take off. And you can kind of see that sharp angle as he reads it. You know, it's not just a, a direct line at the QB. He actually goes up this way, you can see right there. And so he's, you know, anticipating where he's going to go, gets a hit, forces in completion. Um, so just a good pass rush snap. Now we get into the run snaps. So here we're going to get a reverse, and there's going to be bow braid coming downhill and boom just sticks him so again just kind of coming up from that free safety alignment not scared um can't see him right off the bat here but as he comes into your screen you know he's going to close this 15 yards pretty quickly um wide receiver is going to keep going nice target lays the shoulder you might want to see a wrap there i could see um that is a bit of a criticism but overall getting in there laying the wood like to see it right here look at that tackling ability so obviously the big boys for the falcons take care up front you see the combo block here he's going to work his way into 56 and this opens a pretty big gap here he's going to rip off that really nice run good block and then bow braid's going to come up and do what a safety's got to do and just make a play so good tackling ability there open field again the end zone's right behind him and just a good tackle nice low attack the legs um, exactly what we want to see. See Bo Braid in the box here. Again, we're seeing him at a different alignment. We just saw two snaps with him in a free safety alignment. Now he's up here. And just weaving through traffic to get after the quarterback, attacking the legs again. Likes to get low. Um, one thing I'd flag, you guys drop a comment down below. Let me know if you think I'm crazy. Some of the way he flew into some of these tackles, I was a little concerned about his neck. Um, it's just something to keep an eye on because he flies in with reckless abandon, and I just keep being like, God, like if he hits the wrong way, he's got a, the potential to hurt himself. But the way he weaves traffic, so he's going to step up, and he does what he needs to do, fills his key, reads that, sees the ball is here, running back doesn't have it, and he takes it off. And then nice low tackle. But again, coming in low there just always makes me a little nervous seeing those types of hits. So he's back at the free safety alignment. They're going to run right off there. And boom, right back up. Nice low tackle. Um, good form. You're going to see the combo on CJ Ravenel right here. That's going to clear out that lane. Nice cut off of it. He's going to clear that space. Again, your linebackers have been cleared. Safety's got to step up, make a play. 
and he just sewers them underneath so pretty consistent technique here you guys are seeing him kind of submarine guys attack the knees attack the ankles um that type of stuff that we want to see from a safety um definitely making good tackles not uh you know not not tackles where he's holding on for dear life swing tackling that sort of thing you know he's getting right into guys um which shows it's going to work against the bigger guys um, so here we're going to get another run from the Falcons and a little duo concept. Running back's going to kick it outside, and then Bo Braid's going to get up there. That was a swing tackle and get after him. So overall, like just so many things that it's not just his game and what he does well. It's what I think the Ravens are going to be looking for in a safety that excites me about Bo Braid. They want versatility. They want guys that play fearless. They want guys that will play special teams when they're those kind of depth safeties. And Bo Braid brings it all. And the other added element here that you guys should consider is Sanusi Kane has been injured. He's a guy that was kind of a surefire special teamer, a guy that got drafted. Ravens usually keep their draft picks. If he's injured, ends up on IR, it opens that spot for Bo Braid. That might be one of the easiest ways to kind of keep all your guys for next year um and and develop Bo Braid and then you kind of got Sanusi Kane he can work through that injury through that recovery and Bo Braid gives you both a special teamer and a guy that you can develop a little bit more as kind of a, a versatile safety than Sanusi Kane who kind of looks like that old school box safety um I think Bo Braid's got a little bit more versatility to him and you kind of saw it in his alignment numbers so uh, a lot to look forward here I think Maryland put out another really solid product and it's nice to see that the Ravens will have the opportunity to develop him I don't think he'll last on the practice squad so hopefully they find a way to keep him if you guys enjoyed this video hit that like button hit subscribe if you're new here and thanks to dnl tinting for sponsoring this video through the russell street report that's all for me be good to yourselves be good to each other peace out everyone